Uh, I think the key for us was the Chicago Botanic Garden has a history of being in the community and working in community gardens and school gardens for as long as the garden has been in existence. I think what was, we just uh, about 10 years ago, we kind of had this revelation that it needed to be about food um, because it just has so many more opportunities for different synergies within the community and within the, the inside the walls of our botanic garden as well. Um, for example, you know, using using the our, converting our um, fruit and vegetable island into our organic space where we can use the food from the garden in the cafe where our youth um, employment participants can be harvesting that food and cooking with it on the island coming from the city and having this connection and then um, and in the city we can use those community spaces to grow food for people in the community and the students can learn marketing at the same time. It just all seemed to come together for us and as we got deeper into this world, it, it, it kind of started to envelop us even more and then it extended into, you know, a six month and even a year round a youth education program and then an adult certification program and pretty now we're starting to cultivate future employees, not just future museum goers but future employees of the Botanic Garden that aren't necessarily our traditional employees, that we're really extending our reach into different communities and broadening our reach. Um, I, for us, I'm, as a Botanic Garden, part of our mission, and our, obviously, is education, but our big mission is conservation of plants and ecosystems. And if you say to a kid, you know, do you want to go to the zoo or do you want to go to the Botanic Garden? Most likely that kid's going to say, I want to go to the zoo, because it's exciting. Well, plants are exciting too, and, the re and the, what's really exciting about plants is that everything we eat is from a plant. So you can't say, I like pizza, and say you don't care about plants, because you care about plants, because you like pizza, and pizzas came from a plant. Um, so getting that, getting that hook into that kid by saying, hey, this is, if we didn't have these plants, we wouldn't have your pizza, we wouldn't have all of these things. So getting them in, letting them taste it, letting them make it, letting them see it, letting them smell it, touch it, that's the hook in getting them in. And then once they're in, then you can pitch them with the, by the way, we got to conserve all of this. It's not just our food plants that are important, but it's also our trees, and it's also our native plants, and it's also our woodlands and our ecosystems that are so essential to making sure that we have life on this planet. So um, it's a great way to just connect, and it, it's not just kids that need to know that, it's adults too, of, from all over, need to get that message. I think feeding this feeding the spirit symposium has been really meaningful to me because it's it's neat to see that cultural institutions from across the board are all you know grappling with the same and having great successes in this same arena of reaching out to community of feeding the spirit of of aligning our everything that we do within our operations with our mission because it just makes sense it just makes sense and it's so cool to see so many different ideas around this and um, I think there's so many opportunities for great synergies to, to come out of this.